All right, welcome back. It's time for us to talk consumer tech. And today on Consumer Tech, we have Stephen Asse Brady, who is a digital marketing consultant. It's going to help us to understand tech rules for this Christmas for you and your family. Let's say Good morning, good morning. morning. Good morning. Merry How Christmas. Are you? And, and to you too. And to <laughs> I'm you very too. good. You? Yeah, I'm very well. Thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Excellent. Okay, so take us into what we need to be looking at as far as, you know, uh, yeah. the season is concerned. Christmas, yes. the way I like is that it's supposed mm. to be family time. Yes. And so we want, and what we're going to talk about today is how we can make sure that the family gets to spend more time together. Okay. We don't have all these distractions and all sorts <laughs> with the tech. We love our tech. Yes. We love our gadgets, mm. but uh, they can take away the they can. family bonding time yeah. and all of that. And mm. we really don't want to have that. Mm. So that's what we're having this conversation. Okay. So first I want to say is that it's good that you agree on some rules before the Christmas season, okay. before everybody arrives from everywhere or before you start agree on the rules. If you don't agree on them, some people will feel well you are imposing them. The kids, those of us who have kids, they'll find a way to still yeah. spend time. But if you get them to understand that this is for all of us, Christmas yeah. is just temporary. Mm. Let's have some family time during Christmas. We can go back to our gadgets. Whatever. Yeah. So the first rule is that spend less time with the gadgets. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, set some... I, I, I always say, mm -hmm. be present in the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, wherever it is you find yourself. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think it's very easy to be in a space and yet be all over the world apart from the space in which you find exactly. yourself. Exactly, exactly. You know? yeah. And the phones, mm. the, I mean, even the wearables, the smart yeah. watches and things can take us away from those. Mm. So it's important that you, I mean, spend less time with them. The way I like to put it is that make time for those so set time for it people wake okay. up in the morning mm. if breakfast is eight o'clock yeah we know people want to read their messages before they come to mm. breakfast so agree that between seven and let's say seven thirty you can check your whatsapp messages and do all of that so mm. people know you are not stopping them from reading their important messages yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then agree similar time for lunch time okay. and also for the evening so people can still read their messages mm. because we still want to hear, receive them Christmas messages from our friends and family yeah. want to send some, want to do all of that. So that's very, very important. That's the first one I would say. Okay. So agree on those. That's part of the, um, the rules. Also agree on time to check messages, like I've said. Mm. And then if you have to spend time with your, I mean, from whether on Zoom or wherever because of work, some of us unfortunately have to be working during yeah. some of the days. Yeah. I mean, this year, Monday and Tuesday will be holidays, but Wednesday, People will go back to work. Yes. Some people, even if you are home, you may need to dial in sometime, whatever. Mm. If you have these things pre-booked, just make everybody aware. Okay. So people don't feel that you are isolating yourself. They know, yeah. oh, okay, yeah. daddy or mommy or brother is going to be on mm. Zoom for a while, but he will come back. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it doesn't spoil okay. the bonding time. Yeah. The other thing I've got here is very, very critical. And sometimes we overlook it. Capturing the moments. Mm. I mean, we all like to take the pictures at dinner, at the family sing-along Christmas carols, all those things. Two rules I have here. Okay. Make sure you capture the right pictures. Okay. If I'm dancing and my dancing is not good, mm. I don't want you to capture it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, 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 you get what I mean? Okay. So even if you capture it, make sure that I mean, you delete it at some point. So all those things have to do. And then sharing pictures with people via WhatsApp or online mm. because it's not every picture that people would want to be put, shared, uh, shared put, uh, put online. Yeah. yeah, so I mean, so agree on those things and make sure that if you're going to share any pictures, the people that are in the pictures mm. agree with you that yes, these pictures are okay, decent so, enough okay to, to share, mm. they're okay to go out, this and that. Especially in a family where there are kids and stuff. Some people mm. don't like their kids' faces yeah. to be shown, so don't do yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, And this is a very, very, very important one. And we forget that in the fun, during the fun moments, we want to share pictures of them. Sometimes we're even sharing them live. Mm. So we end up sharing pictures that people are not happy with. We're going to have beef after <laughs> <laughs> having Christmas fun together. Yeah. And then when, I, I also said no time for gadgets behind closed doors. Okay. So like doing sleep time, mm. don't, don't bring the gadgets in. Okay. If anything, turn them off. You have to charge them, yeah. turn them off and charge them. Mm. So you can spend time mm. indoors or whatever. Same thing at lunch table, dinner table. Yeah. Don't bring the gadgets okay. there. There's this thing that people feel as if 
uh, what if there's an emergency? I, I have a simple philosophy. The phone is only as important as we make it. Yeah. Right. Um, and the way I deal with it mentally is that I remember the time before mobile phones. Mm -hmm. And I said, we live. We're getting on all right. We lived. <laughs> I mean, oh, what if, what if somebody's calling me? What if somebody's calling me? You see, and um, the phone is literally like a like a like a like a, a devil's tool to create artificial agency around us. Even children, mm -hmm. ha not having been taught, mm -hmm. know that when they have a phone ringing, take it and run it, run with it, and go and give it to the owner of the yeah. phone. Yeah. How did they get that? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. But I, I think that we need to sort of start disabusing yeah. children's minds. Say, listen, do you know something? There's nothing urgent about it. Don't rush and bring me the phone. Mm -hmm. I will walk over casually mm -hmm. and pick up the phone at my own mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. and pleasure. Mm -hmm. And if I miss the call, I can always call back. Mm -hmm. yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, well, let me say something. That's that. something yes. we don't get in mm -hmm. this town. And mm -hmm. let me say this. We don't understand that there's something called missed call. Yeah. Unless I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. When it's a missed call, I will call, call, call you back. Yeah. If it's an emergency, leave a message. Yes. I mean, I'll find time yes. to call you back. And that's yes. why I said earlier that mm. let's make time for people to also check their phones. Yeah. We know these things up. Yeah. So let's say every three hours or whatever, yes. you can have like 15 minutes, mm. check your phone, mm. see what's going on. Mm. Same thing we do when we're having meetings. Yeah. When you go for meetings, conferences, you are not allowed to check your phone during the meeting, but there yeah. are breaks and you mm. can check them. Mm. Same way you can check them. So if there's an emergency, yeah. you call once, twice, the person is not picking it, yeah. leave a message, mm. they will call you back. They're yeah. not having beef with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and let's get used to that. Yeah, and I was this thing about 22 missed calls. Why? Uh, why, why have you called me 22 times? No. Because of what? Mm. <laughs> you know, mm. I don't exactly. get that. Because we have this thing. Oh, yeah, you know, we mm. create all these urgencies mm -hmm. and it just gives us more stress in oh, our it, lives. It does, it does. We, 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 and that's why we're having this conversation. Yeah. We need to get those, I mean, habits right. I've got another one here. Okay. I mean, we always get gadgets mm. during Christmas. Mm -hmm. What I have been saying is that once you've opened your present, there's a gadget there. If you want to install it or check it out that it works, fine. After doing that, put it away. The time to really use and try it is yeah. after the Christmas break. Okay. Because we fall in love with these gadgets. Okay. And we may end up, I mean, unknowingly spending too much time with the gadget. Yeah. And breaking the rules, mm. the family fun mm. time rules. So that's one. The other one is when the kids are coming with you to visit, yeah. like cousins and family. If they need to take the gadgets along so they will play with it in the car or whatever, once you get there, keep them in the car. Okay. Don't take them into I like that. the house. I like that. Because the, fam the cousins and the rest are expecting you to come and spend time with them. Yeah. Don't take the gadgets in there yeah. and you spend time on your, on, gadgets, your, on your gadgets, not really bonding with them. Yeah. Unless it's something, let's say you've agreed or you're going to have, let's say, a PlayStation challenge or whatever. So okay. it's part of, so they tell you, bring your PlayStation, mm. we'll have a challenge in a boys' room, a kid's yes. room, whatever. Then you can take the gadgets with you. Okay. But if not, leave them in the car mm. and then get there. With yeah. That. I mean, it's very, very important. Yeah. I, I think it's so critical. Look, for example, meal times, mm -hmm. people on their phone during meal times. You know, it doesn't make any sense, you know. Mm. I mean, I think that we need to create this thing where families have, um, let's say, a, a phone basket yes. or a gadget basket. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to meal times, the basket is there. Everybody, drop your phone mm. in there, mm. put it on silent and put it on silent. Yes. And then drop it in there, yes. you know, before we sit at table. Because you're not going to get up on the table and say, I'm hearing my phone is ringing. No. Mm. No, and, and we do this with our professional colleagues. We we'll yes. go out for, I mean, dinner with our professional yeah. colleagues. We we'll put them in the basket. Mm. We we'll see the first person whose phone rings, yes. pays the bill, or that's yeah, whatever. exactly. And these then are that rules you turn we have. Your phone off and make sure <laughs> yeah, that nobody's yeah, phone you know, ring. Uh, <laughs> you didn't tell the missus or whoever, yeah. don't call me because I haven't got money for yeah. this, this, and that. Same way, let's have those kind of rules yeah. during the. It's so important. I mean, Christmas. Yeah. I mean, break. And then last one I've got here. Mm -hmm. We're still going through COVID. Yeah. And during the, I mean, Christmas, we spent time together in the living room, passing mm. the phone around, look at this, check this out, this and that. Let's sanitize the gadgets mm. before we pass them on. The remote, all those things. So buy a bottle of sanitizer, put it on the table, okay. so people can conveniently sanitize yeah. before they touch it. Yeah. And ideally, they should go to the washroom and wash their hands. Mm. But if they can't go, then while they're there, yeah. if 
the phone has to be passed around or the remote control has to be passed around, mm. sanitize it before yeah. you pass it around. I always think about this, Stephen, how that um, I get to a wash station. Mm -hmm. I put my phone that I've been using for the last 20 minutes mm -hmm. in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I wash my hands mm -hmm. and then I take Reach my back for it. <laughs> phone again. That is actually counterintuitive. It doesn't make any sense mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. if you are washing your hands, mm -hmm. then whatever was on your hands is mm -hmm. on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. So going back to pick the phone, which hasn't been cleaned, sanitized, whatever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you're going to just put the same stuff back in your hands again. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to think more, you know, about we this do. in a 360 fashion. We do. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I said, COVID is still around yeah. and we need to be careful. Yeah. But the long and short of this conversation mm -hmm. is that let's make Christmas family time. Yeah. Let's Fantastic. make sure that gadgets don't take it. away from all the family time that we want to spend it. together. I love yeah. it. Thank you very much. That's Steve. all right. Steve. How do people reach you? At Nasai on Twitter. At Nasai on Twitter. Fantastic. You can get in touch with Nasai Bridi. He's been helping us to you know, create some kind of a, a, a system of rules that will manage the home this Christmas so we can all enjoy a bit more time with each other. Don't go anywhere.